So yesterday morning, it was reported by numerous news outlets. Alex Jones himself, and even yours truly, put out a video about it yesterday morning, that The Onion was the winning bidder for Alex Jones's media empire, InfoWars. Well, not so fast, my friends. Uh, appe there appears, allegedly, to be some chicanery afoot. Um, as of yesterday afternoon, there was a court hearing. And I'm pulling this from uh, News 25 in Boston, of all places. At a court hearing Thursday afternoon in Houston, the trustee who oversaw the auction, Christopher Murray, acknowledged that The Onion did not have the highest bid, but said it was a better deal overall because some of the Sandy Hook families agreed to forego a portion of the sale proceeds to pay Jones's other creditors. Say what? So The Onion wasn't the highest bidder? And... They entered this auction with support from the Sandy Hook families to use future revenues to pay for the bid for the auction. That that's how that's what I'm getting out of this. Because it says here, um, First United American Companies, a business affiliated with one of Jones's product selling websites, submitted the only other bid. The trustee said he could not put a dollar amount on the onions bid. Well, if you're having a sealed auction for whatever it may be, it could be a car, it could be a house, it could be a media empire, especially if it's a bankruptcy auction, to the best of my knowledge, and you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but you have to have the funds in place in order to bid. You can't bid based on credit. Walter Seacock, an attorney for the United American Companies, told U.S. bankruptcy judge Christopher Lopez that Murray changed the auction process only days before, deciding not to hold a round Wednesday where parties could outbid each other. Sealed bids were submitted last week, and the trustee chose only from those. So basically what they did here was, is the trustee, the bankruptcy trustee, when they announced that there was going to be an auction for InfoWars and all uh, products and subsidiaries associated with InfoWars, meaning the websites, the, the InfoWars store, that there was going to be an auction and those who registered for the auction could place bids and bid on InfoWars and the highest bid wins. Well, the trustee, a couple of days before the auction happened, changed the rules and said, nope, we're not going to do that. We're only going to take sealed bids and not necessarily the highest bid is going to win. Hmm. That doesn't smell fishy, does it? Murray said he followed the judge's auction rules laid out in the September order that made the overbidding round optional. But Lopez said he was surprised such a round of bidding was not held and that he had concerns about transparency. We're all going to an evidentiary hearing, and I'm going to figure out exactly what happened. He said no one should feel comfortable with the results of this auction. So there's a hearing set for next week. I, I'm not sure what day it's set for. Um, but here, let's play this from Alex, and he kind of explains what happened here. Breaking news for everyone. The headlines you see everywhere that The Onion bought InfoWars today is not true. The judge had an emergency hearing today that we filed for at 8 a.m. this morning. It went on for several hours. He was extremely upset, the federal judge, Chris Lopez, and said, this is not a real auction. You don't claim there's a public auction where people can bid up and have them register for it, and then two days before, change it and say the bids are secret and we don't have to take the highest one. Then he asked the U.S. trustee that ran this, what was the winning bid? He said, well, I can't tell you. Did, did you hear what I just said? Not only did they not take the highest bid, they won't even say what was paid, but they said, well, it's Alex Jones's judgment. 
That's like toilet paper. A billion and a half fake dollars that doesn't exist? You're gonna get a billion dollars out of this piece of paper? So you can't pledge, that's federal law in bankruptcy, a debt towards something. And especially because doubly, they didn't tell the other bidders that they were gonna allow credit to be used to buy it. That's what they're calling it. It's credit in the future, pie in the sky on my future earnings. So they bought my company in a rigged fake auction that didn't even happen with my money that doesn't exist. So the judge says he hasn't set the date yet, next Monday or Tuesday, he said early next week, I take that as Monday or Tuesday, to have an evidentiary hearing on this. My lawyers and the real bidders lawyers, who are very prestigious, said they've never heard of something like this. Walter Sisak, the lawyer for the folks that tried to buy InfoWars that were good guys, is recognized as the toughest bankruptcy lawyer in Texas. He's known as the bulldog. He's a no bullshitter. He said he's never seen anything like this. So whether you like Alex Jones or don't like Alex Jones or agree with him or disagree with him, this has all been a setup from the very beginning, folks. This has never been about the money. This has never been about the, the billion dollar judgment. This has been about shutting Alex Jones down, silencing his voice, silencing his opinion. So there you have it straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Um, what do you guys think out there about this situation with, with Infowars and the, and the auction that was supposed to happen that turned out to be a non-auction? Comment down below. Um, while you're at it, please take the time if you would. Smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Those are the best ways to support me and the channel and what I'm doing here on YouTube and over on Rumble. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys.